Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and for the No Stylus website and today we're going to have a look at how you make an iPhone rigtone. And it's actually quite easy. Well, you've got some music in your uh, iTunes account there and your iTunes music library and what you want to do is you want to take some of that and make it into a ringtone. So, for instance, I quite like that Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses and I think the start of that would be an absolute marvellous ringtone to have. The thing you want to do is, well, in this case it's very easy because I want right from the start and I'll have 30 seconds, because 30 seconds is all you can have for a ringtone. Maybe you've got to 1 minute and 16 seconds into your song and that's where you want to start and you want to 30 seconds after that. Well, you can do that. But in this case, as I said, I want to have just right from the start of the song. So this is going to be very easy. So first thing to do is to do a right click on it, click on Get Info. And here I'm going to go into the Options tab. In the Options tab I click on the Start Time, which is going to be 000, and the Stop Time is going to be 030. And I'm going to click on OK. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do a right click on it, or a two finger tap on my trackpad, and click on Create AAC Version. So now I've got two versions of that. As you can see, I've got the uh, 5 minutes and 56 seconds version, and I've got the 30 second version. Now the one we're going to work with is this one here. This is going to be our ringtone. So you do the right click on it again and click on Show in Finder. So here we are in Show in Finder. And as you can see, this one here is the one we want to work with. So I'm going to just do a tap on that there. Go to the end and change the M4A into an M4R. And I'm going to tell it to use M4R. Clicked on that now. So the easiest way to go about doing this here is just to take this and drag it and drop it over here. Super. Let's go back into iTunes. And if I go into Tones now, you can see I've got this sweet child of mine in there. And I've got the Appetite for Destruction ringtone. How about that then? So the next thing you're going to want to do is going to go to your iPhone. So you plug your iPhone into your iTunes thing with your USB cable with the now defunct 30 pin connector. And the iPhone's connecting up there. So there we go. Okay, so the next thing to do is to go to Tones and just click on Sync Tones. You can do all tones or you can do selected tones. And as you can see, I've got the two in there that I've made. Sweet Child of Mine and Ringy Dingy One. Once you've done that, all you've got to do is go down to the bottom here and click on Apply. And then I can go into my iPhone and I can start doing the thing there where I sort of have... Certain ringtones for certain people. So, for instance, you might have, uh, for the mother-in-law, you might have the Star Wars theme for the Emperor in there. So, uh, when things are bad starting to happen, the old theme starts ringing up there. Just for fun, you know. Now, in the next video I'm going to make, I'm going to show you how to use Amadeus Pro to make ringtones for your iPhone as well. And that is pretty easy too. And uh, the good thing about using the Amadeus Pro rather than going through iTunes is that you can be a little bit more creative because you can have a number of tracks when you're mixing it all together. And when it comes down to it, you can put in all sorts of sound effects. How about that then? So this is Dave Allen for Mac Tony Questions and for the No Stylus website. Bye-bye now. Talk to you again soon.